Shalom. It's Rabbi David Barron with an important message before this upcoming Shabbat. First of all, I want to tell everyone that we have to stand united and together in the face of rising anti-Semitism. I have a number of concerns I want to express about this. All of us, of course, are deeply pained to see these pro-Hamas rallies taking place on college campuses across the United States. It's our responsibility, if any of us are alumni, to call those universities to write the presidents to withhold any financial support from those institutions and to go on stopantisemitism.org and find out what actual steps you can take, we can take together, united, to oppose these radicals on campus who are infringing on the rights of Jewish students. I'd like all of us to take those steps and do it in a united way. And the other point I wanted to make that's really important during this time is that even though some of our organizations like ADL have failed us by focusing on only one source of anti-Semitism and not the extremist elements in the Arab American Islamic Islamist in that community, uh, nonetheless, we have a role to play and we can support organizations like CAMERA and organizations like AIM, Accuracy in Media, to stand up to some of that negative reporting and to focus on where the real source of this anti-Semitism and anti-Zionism is emanating from. It's really important that we do that. And I'd like to encourage you also to be in touch with our representatives, our congressmen of whatever party, our senators, and let them know how concerned we are. And the last thing I wanna propose as all of us confront anti-Semitism in different ways is that we have friends and neighbors in the Christian community. And if we reach out to them, if we inform them and educate them about the horrors of October 7th, many of them already are aware of this, but for those who are ignorant of what actually happened on that horrific day, we can join them and have them join us in standing up to anti-Semitism and hatred of Israel. That's a role that each and every one of us can play, but we can only do it if we're united with a common goal and purpose and know who to focus our attention on. For each and every one of us, confronting hatred is, involves individual choices and decisions. We can either sit back and do nothing or observe and go, woe is me, or we can take concrete actions and steps to oppose hatred. We're doing that. Interestingly, here at our Temple of the Arts Saban Theater, we have a beautiful concert on Sunday evening uh, with an Egyptian American community and a wonderful Egyptian conductor. And did you know that on social media there have been hate posts saying, don't go to that event, boycott the Saban Theater. Uh, it's a source of Jewish support for Israel. Oppose it, boycott it. And what we've done is we've organized the community to say, no, we will not tolerate hatred and we will stand up against that kind of vicious hatred and smear. And so we're encouraging friends and neighbors to buy tickets to this Egyptian American concert and support music because music is the path to peaceful relations. And we welcome every ethnicity here at our temple's home, the Saban Theater the Chinese American community, the Latino community. Recently, I spoke with Bishop Mendez, who is the head of a huge Hispanic community of Christians, and they are very strongly supportive of Israel. So I urge you to talk to your friends and colleagues and coworkers and let them know how concerned you are about waning support for Israel, how we have to stand with Israel in this hour and oppose acts of anti-Semitism. All of us have a role to play, and we're stronger when we do it together. Also, you can join in the events at your Temple of the Arts. On May 8th, we have a concert with the great artist Matis Yahu. On May 10th, we'll be doing a magnificent Shabbat dinner at El Pasteo, and we welcome all of you to join us that evening. You have to make a reservation, of course. And then open to the entire community on May 12th. I urge you to attend Yom Hazikaron, Israel's Memorial Day. We'll be remembering, sadly, over 630 Israeli soldiers who were killed in battle against the vicious Hamas that uses its own citizens 
as human shields, that stores weapons and explosive devices, not just in tunnels where our hostages are being held, but also in schools and in mosques and in UN institutions. All of us must unite together to oppose the haters. That's the way we prevail. And I hope you'll attend this event on May 12th at 6.30 p.m. It will be a full house to honor the fallen soldiers, to honor, honor those who were killed on October 7th, and to remember them lovingly and offer prayers for the soldiers who are completing the job in Rafa in the Gaza Strip. Lastly, all of us during this time of year know that spring has sprung and the summer awaits and we're gonna be indulging in the pleasures and the joys of getting outdoors. But don't forget our mission to communicate with others, to engage them and involve them in supporting our Jewish people's state, the only state in the world, the state of Israel, and to oppose acts of hatred, bigotry, and anti-Semitism. Thank you for listening to this message and please pass it on to your neighbors and friends from our Temple of the Arts to the community. Shabbat Shalom.